Retire in New Jersey? What? Everybody knows once you reach retirement age, you have to leave New Jersey. You got to get out of here and move south. Not so fast. You may not have to. Look, there are a lot of people who are reaching retirement age and they have family here and they don't want to leave their kids and their grandkids behind. So what do they do? Believe it or not, retiring in New Jersey, it's actually a, it's a pretty good option. And I'm going to explain to you some benefits to retiring here. Let's get started. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Jackie Baker. Thank you so much for being here. I'm a local realtor with Caldwell Banker Realty and I serve the beautiful Bergen County area. And I post videos here every Wednesday and we talk about all things real estate and all things about Bergen County. So make sure you hit that subscribe button if you want to learn more about those things. So retiring in New Jersey. Okay, everyone's thinking, no, we, we've got to leave. It's really expensive to live here. The taxes are high, we have to go. Well, look, it's hard for some people to leave their families behind. So if you have kids and grandkids and, and you don't want to miss out on them growing up, you know, going to say the Carolinas or Florida or, you know, wherever, it's, it's hard, you know, you want to be able to see your kids and you're not going to see them that often if you're living in other states. And I know a lot of people struggle with that. So I thought I would share some information that I found. I did a little research on this and believe it or not, it's, it's really not that bad <laughs> to retire here. Okay. Let's get into those taxes. So as we know, New Jersey has the highest property taxes in the country. Yay, go Jersey. But for retirees, you know, people over 65, there are some tax exclusions, which, you know, it, it's really a, a cost savings. So it'll be a benefit. So first of all, your social security income will not be taxed. And if you have a pension that's a hundred thousand dollars or less, you won't be taxed on that as well. Now, this is awesome. They just increased that limit last year in 2020. So before that, it was um, if you've made 80,000 or less, you weren't taxed on it. So now they upped it to 100,000, which is which is awesome. That's a that's a big game changer for some people. So now another benefit is the access to great medical care. I mean, as we know, New Jersey has some pretty well renowned hospitals. And also there's New York City and there is Philadelphia. It's like if you choose to live in South Jersey, you're closer to Philly. There are some great hospitals in those areas as, as well as in here in New Jersey. So that's important because as we get older, we need doctors and we want the best care. So being in this area would be a wise thing to do if that's important to you. I've heard stories of people whose parents like lived, you know, in the Carolinas, like in the middle of nowhere, and they don't have access to great doctors and it's tough. And it's, and it's tough for the children to help their parents, um, you know, with their medical stuff. And it's, it's just, it's hard. So if you're here, you don't have to worry about that. You have access to great medical care. Another great thing that I learned for seniors in that, that seniors can take advantage of here in New Jersey, there are continuing education opportunities. So meaning that people over 65 will get a waiver. Now this goes to most of the public universities and colleges here in New Jersey. You can get a waiver to go take a class for free at that university and you know learn a, learn a new skill or just learn anything <laughs> it's it's, it's kind of cool the only stipulation is that um provided there is space for that person to take the class um because obviously the paying students are you know take priority so as long as there's space in that class and there's also enough students in that class that where they're able to accept the waiver for a senior to come and take a class there are also some great options here um, in the Garden State where you can find a great 55 and over active adult community. Um, you can downsize to a smaller home, to a ranch size home. A, a great option, what a lot of people do, they actually retire down to the Jersey Shore. And which is awesome because, you know, Leah living at the beach year round in the winter, it's kind of dead, it's quiet, but you know, that's not the worst thing in the world either. So that is a great place to consider retiring to if you want to stay here in New Jersey. 
So that's what I have for you today. It's all about retiring in New Jersey. And if you have any questions about that, um, and if you're a senior and you're thinking of selling, I did a video I, a couple of weeks ago called the Senior Real Estate Specialist. It's right up here, check it out. I do have that designation, which is also known as SRES. And um, I, I do help seniors who would sell in their home and, and guiding them and making that transition to the next uh, stage of their life. So feel free to reach out to me. My contact information is right down below. You can call, text, email. Thanks so much for joining me here today. I'm Jackie Baker with Coldwell Banker Realty, and I will see you next time.